Hello, in this video, I will show you how to link your Google Analytics account with Google Ads and Google AdSense. First thing you need to do is log into your analytics account and select the property for which you want to enable linking. In my case, it's DAJUS for domain DAJUS.com, which is just a test domain. Then on the bottom left, you have the admin option. Let's click on that to go to the admin area. On the middle column, which is the property column, go down and you will find this option where it says Google, uh, product linking. Here you have the option of integrating with Google Ads, Google AdSense, as well as Ad Exchange. For this video, the first step, we are going to link with Google Ads. So let's click on the Google Ads linking here. Let's click on refresh. Sometimes it's a blank page that opens up. On this page, uh, to configure Google Ads link group, you should have your Google Ads account already appear. If you don't have a Google Ads account, please go create one and then it will uh, appear here. Click on the checkbox and click on continue. The second thing you should do is rename this link group. If you have multiple properties and multiple links you have, you should add uh, a unique name for the link. So in my case, let's say I say SC um, ads. Second thing that I do is I will click on all website data, enable it to on. I also want to show you advanced settings. Here, enable auto tagging on all linked Google Ads account. Second is leave my auto tag tagging settings as they are. Basically what that means is some people already have auto tagging enabled in Google Ads. So you may want to click on the second checkbox check box in that case. Um, I'm assuming you don't already have any tagging enabled in Google Ads. Um, so in this case, I'm going to just keep the default option, enable auto tagging on all linked Google Ads account. Once that is done, I can click on link accounts button and that's it. My link is created. Click on done right here. And you can see a new link has been created right here. Now all of your data for clicks and such will appear in Google Analytics report. Okay, now let me show you how to delete a link or edit the information there if you want to change something. Click on this link right here. You will be brought to this detail screen where you can click on any of these edit options and you can go and make any changes if you would like. Another thing to note is that the delete link, link group is here. Now let me show you how you can change the settings for the link or how to delete the existing link. On this view, you don't have any option to delete. So you need to actually click on the link group name, go into details. Here on the right, you have the option to delete link group. Or if you want to change any of the settings or change the name, which I do not recommend if you um, already have data associated with it, um, you can make those changes right here, okay? Click on done here. Now we uh, we have completed um, integration with Google Ads. Let's look into AdSense linking next. Click on that link right here. Nothing appears. I'm gonna refresh the page again. I don't know why, it's something with Google going on. And then now here, your Google AdSense ID, publisher ID will appear right here. Click on the correct publisher account. If you have more than one, all of them will appear here. In my case, I only have one associated with this account. Click on that and click on continue next. Here, you need to enable or select the view where you want the data for AdSense to appear. So I've selected my all website data view and I click on enable link. And that's it. Okay, here your link is created to Google AdSense. Link will appear right here. You can click on this link and go and edit the property if you would like, or you can delete this link to Google AdSense. That's all there is. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, and thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want more information on analytics, e-commerce, please go to ecompitch.com. Thank you.